So, hi everyone. As a product designer, I really love to build stuff and work in the field as close as possible to the ones you're creating for because I believe that um, when working together and see the response, they will always surprise you. Well, normally I work with humans, but last year I've been working with a team uh, on a game for pigs. Well, pigs and humans. So why pigs? Um, pigs are very intelligent, so they get easily bored and start biting each other's ears and tails. So therefore, there is this European directive which, which prescribes enrichment material in pig pens. And what you see here is uh, built by farmers. It's great to chew on or to bite on, but it's not much of a cognitive challenge. And that formed a great basis for us and inspiration um, to collaborate with an applied philosopher from the Wageningen University and designers from the Utrecht School of the Art. We are interested whether technology can play a role in a new relation between pigs and humans, but also play. Can play uh, be meaningful? And we are very interested if play could transform our complex relation with animals and the animals we eat, for instance. Um, so we decided, well, let the humans be the source of uh, entertainment for the pigs. And then you can think of um, playing for them, playing against them, or playing with them. And um, so we made this concept video of, uh, of this vision, how this could be to play together. Let me show you. So you can choose your own setting comfortably and play on an iPad, a touch screen, a tablet, and connect live with an existing pig pen. And they also have their screen, their touch screen. So you build a connection together with the dogs. And the trick is to stay together, synchronize with each other's movement. Because if you don't, you lose contact. The game is over. So stay in touch and try to reach a goal together, like this triangle. Nice joke of my colleagues. <laughs> I'm standing on quite some shoulders here. Yeah. So yeah, and then seeing this natural gesture uh, to build contact um, with animals. This is the farmer with his own piglets. That was a great inspiration for us to envision it in a high-tech environment and putting it in, in, a, in, a, in this fictive ad, like asking, um, have you played with a pig lately? And it's, it's, it's not a design yet, but it, is a, it gives you the, the feeling, the experience, how you could connect through technology. And also, on the pig side, have you played with a human lately? Because we really want to address the pigs the same way as we address humans, looking for uh, equal stuff at both sides, and this is quite an abstract view, uh, view still. Um, so we tested several stimuli, um, like sound and touch. They liked routing with their snout, so we thought a tangible feedback would work great. But they went for light. And it is familiar, of course. Maybe you have played with a cat or a dog. They're chasing the laser. What was so interesting about the pigs that they just follow it and they take time and they're curious it could be an object to them or lead them to something so that formed um, a solid response for us to base this concept video on um, but of course it's a, it's a concept video it's an ideal design situation 
um, with no technical constraints. Um, and, and the main uh, target and goal of us uh, with this video concept was to um, get response, response from society, which we did. And maybe you felt the same, like, well, well where can I download this app? Or do I want smart meat? Or um, shouldn't they play outdoors? So it's not our aim to enable factory farming, but to contemplate on pig boredom. You feel the urge of going back to the pigs after make, making this concept video. So because it takes time to get to know them, there are different characters like this curious one or the shy ones, and I'm certain that there are the lazy ones way right at the back. So let me take you to the farm. We choose young piglets. Um, they just were separated three weeks before from the mother. So they put together with four other herds, same age, no role model anymore, start exploring and responding to everything. And spontaneous actions like the applied philosopher playing a kind of shadow game with them. We want to be open to surprises all the time. Let's see how they respond. Well, like the lazy ones, don't look at this it. Hoek, and the other one, just going for the dot. The hoek, the, daar, op dit scherm is the hoek hier op het uh, geprojecteerde scherm. Ja. Verbinding staan in ieder geval. Ja, ja precies. Ja. Het is vernieuwing. En dat, is nieuw, dat ja. maakt uh, hoogverrijking bij varkens ja. zo moeilijk. Omdat alles na een tijdje weer niet nieuw meer is. Nieuw meer is. En hoe hou je die uitdaging en hoe hou je die prik op? Ja. En we try different perspectives as well. Dan met een. Ik ben een beetje te pakken. Je bent een aantrekkelijke stip voor die varkens. Oeh. Oeh. So yeah, it is um, through technology that we can create this mediated space to play, but it is so uh, important to uh, work locally. Yes, it is uh, warm, smelly, and, and, and dusty, but it makes you realize that you have high expectations, um, but you, you have to give them time, because the pigs have their own biorhythm. And by building um, a working prototype means making simple choices. Like you see here, um, you see a clear view now. It's a movable dot with video feed. Um, and we also, we know the pigs are colorblind, but what exactly do they see? And then they definitely see small details. When starting off this uh, test screen, they even went to the crosshair, uh, well, in a gaming environment, that might be interesting. Um, and imagine that you would be this magenta dot and you get this massive uh, response. It's, it is actually, what we see is a layered response. They uh, respond to the light uh, surface, they respond to their own shadow, and they respond to the magenta dot. So what is more interesting for them over time? And, well, you try to stand out uh, uh, in this case. What do they prefer and what do we prefer? Well, to start off, we prefer one dot and one pig's attention because then we can start experiences synchronizing, which is challenging. But it keeps, we, we keep on questioning ourselves what's interesting for them, what's interesting for us. So yes, the connection stands and it is a digital interaction between pigs and humans. And we love to continue to develop uh, locally at the farm because that is a way of design research we want to continue. And to co-create with the pigs, we feel very uh, strong about. And be open to surprises. And. Um, yeah, one of the most uh, striking moments the last few months was seeing the um, farmer 
playing with a happy smile on his face. And what's he playing with and what makes him happy? Playing with the iPad? Playing with the movable dot? Or playing with his pigs? So it is a start of um, playing life at home, playing in a pig pen, um, learning to be patient, give it time, experience the synchronizing of movement, and yes, maybe in time, become the most attractive dot. Thank you.